Hi, this is Brendan McLaughlin. This is my fifth week for my reflective vlog. Uh, this is going to be a bit more of an interesting reflective vlog because this was what I'm calling a trip week. Um, because each three of the days, instead of being in lessons and uh, doing what I naturally do, a kind of a genre or stuff like that, I actually went on three trips. Uh, the first was UCAS. This plays into more of the Unit 11 stuff and university in my future. This was a big university fair. It was actually um, pretty interesting. I learned a lot about university. Uh, Thursday, I went to a games convention. This was um, a bit more of a kind of less educational trip compared to UCAS, but I did learn some things and stuff like that, and it was a really good day. And then Friday, uh, because of the you know trip and stuff like that, we didn't. Uh, I had the option to go to college and catch up on work or help out with the college. Um, as I'm caught up on work, I decided to help out with the college, and this was where I went to uh, Colchester and I filmed a university affair, um, a university ceremony. Sorry. And I, uh, I done three different jobs on it, and then we uh, sold, and we edited and sold memory sticks. So I'll go into those days as usual. And this week, just because it's a uh, smaller video, uh, we've got something a bit more interesting. We've got a second camera that will be recording here. This is more behind the scenes to so show how I do it. So basically, I have a um, softbox light. This is to help with the green screen that's behind me. I have my microphone that is now constantly recording for my computer. I done this last week. It's a lot better. And so like that now I have my camera here and sometimes I have my phone here just kind of get more extra shots and stuff like that so that's how um, I'm set up at the moment this is probably be my uh, main setup to be honest I think this is pretty uh, decent setup as you can see it's been working for me every once in a while I make slight improvements I need to work a bit more on lighting I am shooting this during the day that has helped massively with the uh, green screen lighting so let's get on to the first day and that was the UCAS trip Okay, so the UCAS trip. Uh, this was an interesting day. Uh, it was mostly going to a university fair. It was kind of just basically this big hall in London where you kind of talk to universities and stuff like that. Um, as a person who went in here looking not as interested in universities compared to other people because I'm planning to do an apprenticeship, I was actually pretty interested. Um, there were, I spoke to many universities. My biggest kind of question for universities as I'm doing, uh, plan wanting to do film is how much of it is kind of more written versus how much of it is more practical some of it more of a practical learner and this did have some problems because not a lot of universities actually knew but one of the biggest universities that i'm actually most interested in is the university of manchester film school because i um spent about five minutes talking to the guy at the stall and this seems like a really interesting university to me personally as i'm much more of a practical learner and this is like 90 percent practical so um Basically, they've got a open day coming up on Wednesday the um, 13th that I'm planning to go to. That would be a Zoom-based one, just so I can get more detail about the course and what the content of it is. Um, overall, I think the fair was pretty interesting. It was a um, limiting in amount of stuff I could do because basically it was it was a fair for everyone, so there wasn't as many film-based ones. And as a person who's more leaning towards apprenticeship, it wasn't as interesting to me. But I did find a couple of universities I'm interested in, and I did write down a couple more notes. I would write down some notes about them and when they have their open days. So I think that's when I can ask more questions and stuff like that. So for UCAS was um, a pretty interesting trip. Uh, so we'll go into the next day that was Thursday, and this was the games convention. Okay, so Thursday was the games convention. I'll be honest, compared to UCAS, this was much more of a, less of an educational trip, more of just kind of a fun uh, day out. But I did learn a couple of things. Um, it was mostly this big hall that kind of had games and stores and stuff like that. I did go to a pretty interesting talk about games convention, uh, the games industry, that is very similar to the film industry. So I can draw a lot of parallels on that and how you get into the games industry. And also the games industry has a lot of crossover with the film industry as they're both kind of um, media, creative media and stuff like that kind of um, businesses. So I did find that pretty interesting and they did have some interesting tips on how to get into the games industry and like how to work your way up that I can probably transfer to the film industry. So I think it was worthwhile me going and it was a really interesting trip. I got to you know play some games and stuff like that and really better understand the games industry and as, as I said before the games industry and the film industry are so similar so I think it was a worthwhile experience um, this is when reflect vlog gets kind of difficult because 
how do I reflect on a games convention? I think I got the most out of it. I kind of, I worked out, it was a games convention, but I just worked out how to kind of pull, use it for my own, like, interests. Because I'm doing film, I was able to take the games aspect and cater it more to film. So I did get something more educational out of it for the games convention. So that went pretty well. And then um, finally, we're just going to go into the final day. And this was probably the biggest day that the most I can talk about is when I filmed a university fair with. Okay, so Friday, I uh, went to Colchester to film a university fair. Uh, the, the day before was setup day that I wasn't there for because I was at like EGX, but this was the actual filming day. So um, basically, to give an overall perspective, and I'll go into more detail, what we done was there was three ceremonies, nine, uh, 11 o'clock, sorry, 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock. What we would do is uh, we would film the ceremonies. They would last about half an hour. Uh, each time I had a different job. Then we would upload it to a memory stick. Then we would basically copy the memory sticks um, we would copy the memory sticks over to multiple memory sticks and then sell the memory sticks for about £10. And then all the profits would be going to the um, our uh, media department. And then we kind of just done that for each one. Uh, to go into specific jobs I'd done, uh, 9 o'clock was basically, uh, what I'd done was a pan shot. So basically, a lot of the cameras didn't move. Um, basically, what we'd done was we had the, stage, the, um, the set, like where people would walk across and get their awards, we had two cameras that basically never moved, um, and then we had a third camera that would pan across, so it followed the person as they get their award. And then the second it cut away, the camera, the editor cut away to the next camera. I would move it back. So basically, that was my job. Um, this was, I think I done pretty well on this. Uh, I was very kind of at first. I was a bit nervous with the pan shot, just because you know it is such a big deal, the university video. Uh, but as I went along, and there was about forty students um, in this one. As I went along, it got a lot better and a lot more in like easier. And then before I knew it, I was just basically naturally doing it. So I think this taught me kind of how to act kind of quickly in uh, with a camera because my previous, all my previous films, I've been basically, you know, I've had the like I've been lucky enough to kind of have the editing time. It wasn't really like more of a live performance. This is my first live uh, show. Oh, I don't know why I've done that. Uh, live show. So. I kind of felt a bit more pressure, but I think it went out a lot better, and I think I learned a lot more skills about live shows and stuff like that. And then for the three o'clock show, I done uh, what uh, I done the editing. So basically, how we done this was a, there was a live edit, so we'd have a switchboard, and basically, I think a switchboard has got about six numbers, uh, each representing a camera, and what I would do is basically click each camera uh, each button to transition to the next camera so the idea was to kind of give it more of a unique edit so for example when the people came in there was kind of a big wide shot whereas when someone started talking would cut to camera two and uh get them to you know like just to show them talking and stuff like that and we cut to the pan shot that i done on the um, previous session i think this went pretty well i found it pretty interesting uh this is kind of a very high pressure kind of situation compared to the other one because the other one well, the pantry was kind of high pressure, but it was more concluded down to about five minutes where this was constant. I keep having to be on the ball. And I found it really interesting. I really enjoyed it. And it really showed me how to do kind of live shows under pressure. Because there was a lot of pressure because there's, you know, we had no like time to re-edit the film or anything like that. So any mistake would go into the final film. But uh, at first I found it difficult. But as I kind of got used to it and kind of got used to the cutting, especially when it came to um, just the students doing their... Um, picking up their like sorry awards it, you kind of naturally got used to it because it's the same kind of shots over and over again we've done that about it was about 40 students as I said before so it got pretty easy and I think overall I think this was the more most interesting job because it was very kind of it was the main part and the biggest most important job and it very was kind of high pressure but I think I done really well and I've managed to I looked over the video because we had to rewatch it and I think I done really well with the cutting and stuff like that so um that was the second session and then the third session i took more of a backseat role because we worked in a group so everyone got a role more pressure situation and what my job was the kind of assistant i would say i would call it the assistant uh editor so you had the main editor or like the person cutting the foot like you know changing cameras that i'd done the previous job and then you had a person next to them and their job was basically turning on mic 
turning on the audio, stuff like that, and keeping an eye on all the footage uh, to make sure that all the cameras are in focus, all of them, you know, right size and stuff like that. And I think I've done pretty well with this one. Um, this was a pretty simple job, to be honest, but it was an important job, and I think I was well focused during it, and I was able to, at points, for, uh, point out small mistakes that would have um, easily not been seen by the person who's been focusing on like the edit and stuff like that. And I was able to do the simple jobs as like, you know, turning on the audio, managing the audio and working out the best kind of volume and also changing around uh, the size. So zooming in and out for different shots to turn them into like different kinds of shots for the cameras. So for example, at the beginning it uh, has a wide shot, whereas and near the end we need a shot of all of them. So I would zoom in the camera artificially for the settings. And this again taught me how they do live shows and stuff like that. And I found it really interesting because I've never done live shows before, i never really got into the logistics of that, but through this entire day really, I was able to really understand the logistics of live shows and how to like, how they put together these live shows, that was really interesting for me. So uh, next we're just going to kind of go into an overall, uh, we'll look at last week's target, but again we won't be setting myself a target, just because of this new week being so unique. Okay, so that was week five, or as I'm calling it, trip week. This was a very unique week, especially to talk about during this reflective vlog, because it was basically just a kind of trip-based week, and you can't really reflect on a trip. Like, compared to, say, last week when I'd done surrealism, where I can go, oh, I'd done this, this, and that, and that was good because of this, this, and that. But I think it was a good week, and I was man able to kind of uh, go get some skills from the week. So just to recap, uh, the first day, um, this was the UCAS trip. I learned about universities and stuff like that, and how um, how they work and what kind of the pros and cons of them. And I did find a couple of universities I'm interested in, and I will be going to the open days and kind of researching them a bit more to kind of better understand them. Then the second day was a games convention. This was a less of an educational trip. Uh, more of a just kind of fun trip, but I did learn a lot about the games industry through speeches, through a um, through a talk and stuff like that. And games industry, due to its similarity to the film industry, the idea, the how you get into the film industry can be put across into the games industry. So it's something useful like that. So I did get something out of that. And then finally Friday, I really learned how to do a live show and how to how to use my skills in the real life. Because up to this point, I've been making videos. That, like you know by myself or you know like just for the college that aren't really that important whereas this was a university ceremony so it was much more real world and i kind of got these real world skills so uh we don't really go over pros and cons of the week just because of how this week was laid out i don't think that it's really a pro and con week i want to bring that back next week when i do um i think it's parody week next week so we're going to do pros and cons but just to um again also we're not really doing a target just because again it was a it was a odd week with just trips and I can't really set myself a target from trips. But just to review uh, last week's target, that was to challenge myself more. I think I really challenged myself a lot more this week. Um, I think this can be seen on Friday. I had two options on the Friday as I previously mentioned. I could have gone, could have stayed in college and caught up and work or I could have gone to this um, like uh, university fair and I decided to go with the university fair because I wanted to challenge myself a lot more to kind of don't take the easy way out of just sticking to college and I think that was better the best option because I found it really interesting kind of uh, setting up this so like understanding the games and uh, so understanding how university ceremony videos work and kind of understanding the live video aspect and cutting it together and I was nervous in the first one but I think the other two I done really well at like kind of managing the group kind of working out what I need to do inside of the the work and stuff like that and I found it overall really interesting so I definitely say I did challenge myself so um that's been week five sorry this is a bit more of a jumbled kind of reflective vlog it's just really hard to reflect on a week that was trip based but um I think I did pretty well I think I really on I really think I used the trips to my biggest advantage and made them more I made them fit my what I was looking for 
So that's been week five, trick week, and next week will be parody slash comedy week where hopefully I'll have a bit more to talk about.